This video highlights seven often overlooked early indicators of prediabetes, a condition affecting over one-third of adults in the United States. Many individuals are unaware they have prediabetes due to subtle symptoms. This guide will explore less commonly discussed signs to recognize potential risks before prediabetes progresses to type 2 diabetes. Understanding these signals is crucial for early intervention and potential prevention of diabetes. 1. Unexplained skin changes. A less recognized early clue of progressing towards prediabetes can manifest on your skin, serving as a subtle but significant warning. Vigilance is key for acanthosis nigricans, characterized by distinct patches of skin with altered pigmentation. Becoming darker, light tan to dark brown or blackish, than surrounding skin. This color change often accompanies a textural alteration. The affected skin may thicken and feel velvety or leathery rather than smooth. These changes commonly appear in skin folds, the nape of the neck, underarms, axillae, and groin. While these skin alterations are not harmful, itchy, or contagious, their presence frequently indicates underlying insulin resistance, a primary driver in the progression from normal blood sugar to pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Research suggests that up to 50% of individuals with acanthosis nigricans also have insulin resistance. Beyond acanthosis nigricans, be mindful of skin tags, small, soft, flesh-colored growths on the neck, eyelids, armpits, and groin. While generally benign, an increased number or sudden appearance of multiple skin tags can correlate with elevated blood sugar and insulin resistance. If you notice these skin changes, discuss them with your primary care physician or a dermatologist, especially with other pre-diabetes risk factors like excess weight, sedentary lifestyle, or a family history of type 2 diabetes. Not everyone with pre-diabetes develops these skin manifestations, but their appearance can be an early, visible cue of challenges in glucose metabolism. Recognizing these subtle signals early allows for timely medical intervention and potential prevention of type 2 diabetes through lifestyle changes and medical guidance. 2. Increased fatigue and weakness. Another often understated yet significant early warning sign of pre-diabetes is persistent and unusual fatigue or a generalized feeling of weakness that doesn't improve with adequate rest. This transcends typical tiredness after exertion. It's a pervasive and draining sensation impacting daily activities. In pre-diabetes, this profound fatigue arises from the body's struggle to effectively use insulin to convert glucose from food into usable cellular energy. Insulin resistance means glucose in the bloodstream doesn't efficiently enter cells, leading to an overall energy deficit. Epidemiological estimates suggest that up to 70% of pre-diabetic individuals report this debilitating and persistent fatigue. This often goes beyond sleepiness. Described as a profound lack of energy, constant drained feeling, or overwhelming sluggishness, making simple tasks feel arduous. Concentration, mental focus, and productivity may also diminish. While fatigue can stem from various health conditions, if it's new or persistent, especially with other potential prediabetes indicators, it shouldn't be ignored. Consider if this fatigue accompanies increased thirst or more frequent urination, further pointing to issues with blood sugar regulation. Proactively addressing unexplained and persistent fatigue with your healthcare provider is essential to identify underlying causes, including early prediabetes, and implement timely management strategies to restore energy levels and prevent further progression. 3. Subtle vision changes. While significant vision problems like diabetic retinopathy 
are recognized as longer-term complications of established diabetes, subtle vision changes can occur even in the early stages of blood sugar dysregulation characteristic of pre-diabetes. Elevated blood glucose can directly affect the eye's delicate lenses, causing them to swell. This swelling can lead to temporary blurred vision or fluctuations in focusing ability for near and far objects. Vision might seem slightly out of focus or hazy, improving and then worsening again without an obvious reason. Epidemiological estimates suggest around 20% of pre-diabetic individuals may experience these transient visual disturbances. Often mild and intermittent, these changes are frequently dismissed as eye strain or general fatigue, not recognized as a potential early warning sign of metabolic issues related to blood sugar control. However, persistent or recurring blurred vision, even if minor, warrants a comprehensive eye examination by an ophthalmologist or optometrist. These professionals can assess visual acuity and also examine internal eye structures for early signs of damage to small blood vessels associated with even slightly elevated blood sugar over time. Early detection and proactive management of prediabetes through lifestyle modifications and medical interventions can protect long-term eye health and prevent more severe complications. Paying close attention to these seemingly minor visual changes can provide an important early insight into overall metabolic health and prompt necessary steps to prevent the progression to type 2 diabetes. 4. Increased frequency of infections. This isn't just occasional colds or flu. It's a pattern of recurring infections that may be more frequent, severe, or persistent than usual. These can include urinary tract infections, UTIs, yeast infections, candidiasis, and various skin infections like boils, furuncles, carbuncles, or cellulitis. The underlying reason for this increased susceptibility in prediabetes is that even moderately elevated blood sugar can impair the immune system's normal function. High glucose levels can directly affect white blood cells' ability to migrate to infection sites, engulf pathogens, and mount an appropriate immune response. Epidemiological studies and clinical observations suggest individuals with prediabetes may experience infections 20 to 25 percent more frequently than those with normal blood sugar. These infections might also take longer to resolve, and symptoms could be more severe. Recurrent vaginal yeast infections in women, without other clear predisposing factors like antibiotic use, can be of potential underlying blood sugar issues. Both men and women might notice that minor cuts, scrapes, or wounds heal more slowly. This impaired tissue repair is another consequence of elevated blood sugar affecting the body's regenerative and inflammatory processes. If you consistently battle more frequent infections or notice unusually prolonged wound healing, consider the possibility of underlying blood sugar dysregulation and discuss these observations with your healthcare provider. Recognizing this pattern can lead to earlier diagnostic testing for pre-diabetes and timely interventions, ultimately reducing the risk of progressing to type 2 diabetes and its complications. 5. Changes in hunger and thirst. While extreme thirst, polydipsia, and excessive hunger, polyphagia, are classic hallmarks of uncontrolled diabetes, more subtle shifts in normal hunger and thirst can manifest even in the earlier pre-diabetic stage. You might experience hunger more frequently, even shortly after meals. Conversely, you might experience increased and persistent thirst not always satisfied by increased fluid intake. These changes in appetite and thirst regulation are a direct physiological consequence of the body attempting to cope with elevated blood sugar and insulin resistance. 
when cells can't efficiently uptake glucose for energy, the brain may interpret this cellular energy deprivation as a need for more fuel, leading to increased hunger. Simultaneously, as the kidneys work harder to filter excess blood glucose, increased urine production, polyuria, occurs. This fluid loss can trigger compensatory increased thirst to maintain hydration. Epidemiological data and clinical experience suggest approximately 30% of pre-diabetic individuals report noticeable alterations in their typical hunger and thirst patterns. Therefore, paying close attention, recognizing these seemingly subtle shifts as potential indicators of underlying metabolic issues can prompt timely medical evaluation and potentially prevent progression through lifestyle modifications like dietary changes and increased physical activity, and if necessary, medical management prescribed by your healthcare provider. 6. Darkened Skin Patches Acanthosis nigricans in other areas. We previously mentioned acanthosis nigricans on the neck, armpits, and groin, but these darkened, velvety skin patches can also appear in other areas of the body. You might notice them on your knuckles, elbows, or knees. The appearance of these patches in multiple locations or in less common areas can further strengthen the suspicion of insulin resistance and pre-diabetes. It's believed that the high levels of insulin in the bloodstream stimulate the growth of skin cells and melanin, leading to the characteristic darkening. While these skin changes are not directly harmful, they serve as a visual marker of an underlying metabolic issue. If you observe these changes in any area of your body, it's a good idea to consult with your healthcare provider to assess your risk for prediabetes and undergo appropriate testing. 7. Numbness or tingling in extremities. While nerve damage, neuropathy, is a well-known complication of long-standing diabetes, some individuals with prediabetes may already experience early subtle signs of nerve issues, such as occasional numbness or tingling in their hands and feet. This occurs because even slightly elevated blood sugar levels over time can begin to affect the small blood vessels that supply the nerves. It's estimated that around 10 to 15% of people with prediabetes report experiencing these sensations. These feelings might be intermittent at first and easily dismissed as a result of poor circulation or other minor issues. However, if you notice a persistent or increasing frequency of numbness or tingling, especially in your fingers and toes, it could be an early indicator of pre-diabetic neuropathy. Early detection of nerve damage is crucial, as managing blood sugar levels in the pre-diabetic stage can help prevent or slow its progression. Recognizing these seven early signs of pre-diabetes can be a crucial step in taking proactive measures to manage your health. Remember that pre-diabetes often has no obvious symptoms and these subtle indicators might be easily overlooked. Early intervention through lifestyle changes, such as diet and exercise, can often prevent or delay the progression to type 2 diabetes. You might also want to watch this video on understanding your diabetes risk factors. Please subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.